the only doorway. Jesus is the door to heaven. Jesus is the door. He said in John 10, 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Jesus is the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. Jesus is the only doorway to heaven. My friend, let me ask you the most important question. Are you trying to enter heaven some other way than through the way Jesus provided? If you are, Jesus said, you are a thief and a robber. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. John 10, 1. There is no other way to get to heaven. Religion is not the way. The preacher or priest is not the way. Water baptism is not the way. Church membership is not the way. Being a moral person is not the way. Doing good works is not the way. The Bible states in Acts 4, 12, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There is nothing you can do to earn salvation or your way into heaven. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. Isaiah 64, 6. Only by receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior can you enter into the kingdom of God. Can you enter the door? You enter the door by asking Jesus to come into your heart and save you. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, John 1, 12. The Bible states that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 9, 10, 13. Don't let the devil deceive you by making you believe there is some other way. The Bible says that the devil is a liar and a fire father of it. John 8, 44. Eternal salvation is a free gift to all who will simply receive Jesus Christ into their heart. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast, Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Jesus said in Mark 1, 15, Repent ye and believe the gospel. Believing the gospel is believing that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. Jesus died on the cross, was buried, and was resurrected by the power of God for our salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. My friend, if you want to be sure that you are saved and heaven will be your home, pray this prayer or one similar to it, meaning it with all your heart. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner going to hell. I know that I cannot save myself. I repent of my sins and put my faith in the blood that you shed for me on the cross to pay for all my sins. I now accept you as my Savior and trust you to take me to heaven. Thank you for saving me. Amen. The Bible says in John three thirty six, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Please don't reject the gospel. Trust in Jesus today.